in the gospel text of today, Jesus pronounces woes on lawyers. The lawyers at the time of Jesus were a group of people who took advantage of the ignorant and especially of widows. So they would usurp the properties of widows. They would charge exorbitant fees because many of the people were ignorant about the law and the lawyers knew the law. In such a case, Jesus is unwilling to accept this injustice. And in his woes to the lawyers, he pronounces judgment on them because not only are they unjust, but because they are not true to what they are meant to do. The lawyers were cheaters rather than helping people. And Jesus says to them that if they continue to do the same, if they continue to cheat and to steal and to thieve, they are no different from the brigands and the robbers and the other thieves. They have been given the privilege of having learned the law. They have been given the privilege of knowing the law and they keep that knowledge to themselves. Not only do they keep that knowledge to themselves, they use that knowledge to cheat others. Such kind of cheating is the lowest of all kinds of cheatings and that is why Jesus pronounces woes on them. Each one of us must to hear the Lord as pronouncing this woe on each one of us if we are of the same ilk as the lawyers. We may not be in the legal profession, but in whatever profession we are, what the Lord is calling us to is honesty and dedication and never taking advantage of anyone, especially the poor. If in my job I cannot be honest, if in my job I cannot be dedicated, if in my job I cannot be hardworking, then I must hear these woes being pronounced on me. If in my job I have taken advantage of anyone and especially of the poor, then I must hear these woes as addressed to me. Are the woes addressed by Jesus to the lawyers applicable to me? If they are, what will I do about it today?